థ్యాంక్ యూ సుభాష్ చంద్రమూర్తి గారు డాక్టర్ శివదాస respected chair of the house i support the inclusion of the these communities so but same time i have the request the government please include the coal karwar and mushar and bega community in uttar pradesh respected sir mere inclusion of the communities in the sc list that uh, uh, this uh, because of the mere inclusion the adivasi communities can't get any benefit so proper financial assistance is very necessary for the development of the adivasi communities in our nation so adivasis and dalits are requesting for the financial assistance but this government government are trying to uh, uh, are not ready to about, give the support about, to the about them about that so the first thing the people are thinking this inclusion of the them in the sc and st list that uh, will create a new space for the uh, government sector and public sector jobs but what is the reality in india sir 13 lakhs uh, post in public and government sector jobs are lying vacant in india sir in army 1 lakh and 31000 posts are lying vacant in railway 2 lakh and 26000 posts are lying vacant in different various public sector companies are uh, keep their posts uh, uh, like uh, in vacant vacant so it should be uh, this uh, government has taken an action for uh, for the uh, for uh, filling these uh, vacant posts so the last 5 years less than 2 lakh posts posts are filled by this government only 2 lakh posts that mean per year only 40000 uh, posts are uh, they are uh, filling but in kerala there 1 lakh and 99201 posts yes. are uh, filled by kerala public service commission so this is the different so the adivasis and dalits are getting the jobs in kerala that i am mentioning here in telecom sector you know sir in up a single adivasi and dalit person did not get a job in telecom sector either in the last 5 year why this has happened the last 5 year a single adivasi or dalit person did not get a job in uh, uh, telecom sector why it has happened because of the privatization the this government is not ready to allow the reservation in uh, private sector they are uh, leading the extreme privatization but the adivasi and dalits are uh, uh, dalits are not getting the jobs so What's the, the slogan the of reservation in private sector is very important government should take action for the inclusion of the adivasis in private sector also sir what is the condition of adivasis in education sector especially in uttar pradesh there you know sir in 21 education central education institutions they did not give a single admission of a single research adivasi research scholar in the last year sir 11 education central education institution did not give an admission to a single dalit to research student in in education uh, central education central education institution what is happening here sir in health sector the majority of the adivasis are depending government and public public uh, health sector but the government is reducing the fund uh, to the public educa- public health sector so it should be corrected government uh, government uh, will uh, government try to give more financial aid to the health sector in public edu- uh, public health sector so here the uh, adivasis are facing lot of problems malnutrition is very high in uh, adivasis uh, areas so these all things should be addressed by the government here what government is r- uh, doing here government is running with the higher and they are hunting with the hounds it should be corrected they will try to support the adivasi community and dalit communities otherwise they will face a huge struggle against this government that i am sure sir th- with this word i am concluding my speech thank you dr swadasa uh, honorable ram ji <laughs> 